Greetings, we're down east for week 10 of the Canadian Premier League. Beautiful Halifax, Nova Scotia, the setting as the Halifax Wanderers prepare to take on Cavalry FC. The privateers are in the kitchen, they're ready to get cooking. As we want, welcome you to the Wanderers grounds, Halifax Wanderers having chalked up their first win of the season last weekend, hoping to continue that form. Halifax Wanderers make a couple of changes from their win last weekend, both of them at fullback. Uh, Riley Ferrazzo comes in at right back for the suspended Zach Fernandez and Christian Campagna in at left back. News for Cavalry is exactly the same as it was seven days ago. No changes for Tommy Wielden Jr. after that come from behind win over Vancouver. There was much in evidence last weekend against Vancouver for the Spaniard Roberto Alarcon. Here's Moussi towards the edge of the area. Moussi again loves to get in on his left foot. Ran into traffic. Alarcon. Three yeah. arms needed. It will come from Moussi. And unfortunately, his control of his chest landing down. Alarcon, although a fullback, watch him throughout the game. Loves to get forward. Daniels at the other end. Into the area. Oh, goes out. Is that a own goal? It's gone in. An awful mess. Well, Coimbra's celebrating. He may have got the last touch. And Cavalry didn't defend the way they wanted to. And in five and a half minutes, Halifax Wanderers strike first against the Cavs. Halifax Wanderers leading by a goal to nil. Give Halifax the opening goal. Camargo at the other end. Up against Lockery. Oh, well, referee says penalty. Camargo goes down, Lockery, there was a hand on the shoulder, and Michael then points to the penalty spot. There will be goals in the game, we <laughs> said, and look at what we've got. Great from a neutral's perspective. Everybody else, except for the striker and the keeper, have to be outside the area. Seven to level it. The cavalry does so. Top corner, great penalty, fully on no chance. And within eight minutes, we've got two goals, one at each end. Cavalry was at fault. And Bevan takes Nine full advantage of the travelling fans. <laughs> it was worth the journey. 1-1. One, one. That was an absolutely perfect penalty. It's going to break for Ali Moussi here. Alar Khan. The ever-willing run on the right-hand side. Chance was taken. I think it fell to Camargo. Moussi trying to get involved. Trafford knocks it forward. Camargo. Pushing it for Moussi, who was on the run. Moussi, too high, but we know exactly what Ali Moussi can do. Narducci takes responsibility. Bomb. Camden. Well, they're trying to play their way out. Good high press from Halifax. Really good. Try and keep them pressed in. Watson. Watson. Kellen Watson. Oh. Try to curl it with the outside of his boot, Callum Watson. And suddenly, for just a moment, the goal was gaping for the Englishman. For the time being, uh, one short in the back, Caligari. Dispossessed, Fisk looking forward, looking for Bevan. Filion came. Bevan trying to chip him. But his angle's just wrong, but you could see what he was trying to do. And there was an opening just for a moment for Bevan. I'm sure that is something of the mentality. Cobbs are looking forward for the red jerseys. Tigny and Bevan and Moussi. First time. Forced the save from Filion at the expense of a corner. Very good. More of that. <laughs> Well done by Bevan, pulled it off. Alarcon all the way across to take it. As Moosey short if he decides to go that route. Decides not to towards the near post. Dangerous! Off the post, away, off the goal line. Didn't go in. How has that stayed out? Well, that's the thing that's reverberating around my mind. But it didn't cross the goal line. The hold of the ball has to be over the hold of the line. Well, he'll be fine. 21 year old from Surrey, BC. Alarcon prepares to whip this in. 
can get the heights to beat the first defender, but Fiss will pick up the loose ball, knock it back into the mix-up. Moosey couldn't quite control it, got the opportunity from six yards out, came with him at an awkward height. Fillion was not really tested. But if that changes, this team's at the top. Intunye, clever. Intunye takes on the shots. Fillion again, called into action. Big right hand, as that was bound for the net. Intunye, hunting for... Intunye, trying to get it on his right foot. Lucy, more danger. The referee says, get up and get on with it. And Coimbat will keep it in on that far side. And the substitute, Geraldo, who's busting a gut, is filling. They can't touch him now. Geraldo back to goal. Oh, my goodness. And Daniels! Aiden Daniels! Puts Halifax back in front. That's what we expected. That's what he expected. Wanderers take the lead just after the hour mark. Aiden Daniels, second goal of the season. Wanderers lead the Cavs by two goals to one. Well, we needed something to get this crowd back in the game. Well, I can't try to get himself out of a fix, boots it forward. Cavalry need to get it forward, but they can't. And the snapshot wide of the far post. Force backwards. James into the area. Not the most convincing of headers. Manwe thought about it. Tried to cross it across. Oh, that was Richard. That was One in, header is straight at Fillion. Trafford is well forward, it's an attempt on target. And from Pierre Colomb to take it away from the Cavs. Referee seen enough. Home pound celebrates, but she strides up. Tony Wilder, exchange handshakes. Aiden Daniels scored the go-ahead goal. But broke the game open in Halifax's favour in the second half. They have back-to-back -back home wins. They have beaten Cavalry FC by three goals to one.